Why, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your host and guide, Zolan Archil, and this is another Lord of the Rings collection video, my friends. And today, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Sword of Aomer Scabbard. Now, it just so happens that I have the actual sword already, which uh, will also be on the review playlist here if you want to check it out later. But we will definitely put it in the scabbard and check it out, both right here holding it and up close. We'll have it up close here in a minute of looking at it in detail. But let's do the unboxing part. I have yet to unbox this one, so let's, let's check it out. Again, this is from United Cutlery. Of course, I will put it in the description for you if it's still being sold. Hopefully that is still a good link if you're watching this later on. But um, it depends. Uh, you got to look for them online or uh, there's a couple good places. Again, I will link an Amazon link and I will also try to link a um, another good site that I know to usually get stuff from that I will get that to you. All right, so let us open this up. Now, oh no, I don't have a, a knife to cut this with. Well, guess what? Come here, Sam Sword. Ugh. So this is one of the daggers that Aragorn gave to Sam, right? So technically it's supposed to be a barrow dagger, right? Because those four daggers in the movie were the ones that were supposed to be able to wound ring wraiths, right? Or wraiths in that case. Ring wraiths were just the big bad version. There were other wraiths besides the nine. So if you play the Lord of the Rings online, we really go into that, but we'll use, oh, it's actually quite sharp. They're not really, they don't usually come sharp, the United Cutlery uh, swords and stuff, but uh, this one is quite sharp. But it, hey, it works as a good, it's a good letter opener, as Balin would say. I don't know, it's a pretty good letter opener. All right, so, now that I've taken those off, let's pull it out here. Ooh. Oh. Okay. All right, oh, I'm gonna make a mess on my floor, but does it matter? It does not. Oh, look at that. Again, I will get a nice close-up here in a moment for you guys on the video, but wow. This is real leather. Oh, man. I should be wearing gloves. Look at the end of that thing, guys. Look at that. It's got horses on it. Oh, my gosh. Of course it does. They're the Rohira. And then there's a horse here, and there's like an inverse of it. So I think it fits with the actual hilt of the sword. So I'm going to grab the, um, the, uh, the sword itself, and we'll put it in the scabbard and see how it looks right now. All right, let me just grab it for you. It's right behind you. Let me just let me just grab it right now. I don't even need to do extra work here. All right. Um, I believe it's this one right here. Oh, there we go. Oh yes. All right. You guys just uh went in the there. Oh, 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 right. We're back. As I chop my fan in half. <laughs> okay. Um. Here's the Sword of Amor. Again, this will be on another video and detailed review of it, but let's see how it looks. Oh, oh, it, it connects. That's where the horses are there. It connects with it. Again, we'll do more close-ups in a minute with the close-up version of the camera with better lighting, but oh my gosh, that's why they are in, the inversions are there. I wonder if it matters which way you put it in. I doubt it, since they're identical. Just curious. Nope, it's about the same both ways. That is cool. Now, one thing I noticed if you were actually going to keep your sword nice with a scabbard like this in reality is that your sword would start rusting or at least be weathering right there in that spot. So, I don't know about that, but boy, does it look amazing. I mean, that is a pretty nice sword. Now, I don't know if I, I probably consider this more of a short sword. But, I don't know, well, it's a little longer than a short sword, possibly. But it's definitely not like, we're not locking like Gandalf's Glamdring, right, in length. It's probably, you know, quite a, quite a bit shorter. It's probably like, you know, maybe, maybe almost three quarters. That is nice. So anyway, what a beautiful scabbard. It's even got real leather. You can see how they did the leather along the thing. Now, I do notice there's a little bit of stuff, but let's do the close-up part now. That's what you guys want to see. So, we will get to the close-up part check it up. Close! Ha ha ha! Let's go! Why hello and welcome to the next part where we look up close at the sheath. Oh, so again I'd like to just point out this because it's one of the coolest things I think. Okay hold on I'm gonna pull the sword apart. There we go. So if you notice this is the head of a horse 
and that is the back neck of a horse. Because this side has another horse head. And this is the sword. It is sold separately. Okay, if you're watching this video, I'll have a separate video reviewing this sword. We're talking about this right now. The sheath. Which is gorgeous and beautiful. So we're going to focus on the sheath mainly. There is the beautiful stuff on it. It does have a latch to hook onto your belt or holster or whatever it is. And another one there. There is a little screw there, but you know, it's bound to have some. I wish I could have done this with my better mic, but you know what? Uh, it would have been really hard to move the camera around to look up close. So if you look, this is leather. Beautiful, wonderful leather. Let's see if we push on it a little bit. You can see it's leather. Absolutely gorgeous leather. And then if we move to the end here, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at those two horses. Absolutely gorgeous. And the end. I do highly recommend the sheath. It was a little bit more. Forget the total right now. Again, I will link it in the description for you. If we go to the other side, this side, as you can see, there is the where they put the leather together. Um, I would maybe clip off without, you know, you don't want to make it unravels. But some of the fluff that's in here, I was actually surprised to see some of that. Probably my only complaint, but again, it looks realistic. But if you look here, this side does not have a screw. So this is probably the side you'd show on the wall if you put this on, a, on the mount with it. It does not come with a mount because I believe it assumes you'll put it in the sheath and mount it on the wall with the other swords. This is the one that comes with the sword. Um, now, the, usually the problem is they don't measure this to fit the thing. So sometimes you have to expand those little hangers. But overall, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous sheath. Let's see if I can close it with one hand. Look at that. Look at that. So now if you flip it, it looks like there's double heads on both sides. That is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the sheath is definitely, definitely worth it. Oop, sorry, it's moving around. So there it is, my friends, the sheath of Aomer. Fantastic. It did indeed come with a certificate. Let me grab that. Came with this. You can pause it to read all of it. The nephew of King Theoden, Aomer, was captain of the king's cavalry. Marshal of the Mark and one of the Rohan's mightiest horsemen. He wielded a royal sword called, oh gosh, I don't want to butcher the name. I love this sword. Uh, Gwithwine. Oh gosh, I think I messed it up a little bit. And used it to slay, I've heard lots of people say it and I always have troubles in the name anyway. And used it to slay many orcs and orcs from Isengard that dared pass into Rohan. Uh, yeah, it's Gwith Gwithwine, right? Gwithwine? with wine. It's not wine. It's Guathane, I believe. It's like a weird silent W from what I remember. But anyway, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. They got the, the ring poem right there. Honestly, guys, a beautiful sword. Hopefully this re uh, review was good for you. Maybe throw a like on there and a subscribe. What's your favorite thing about the sword? I personally love the little ring right there. I also love this spot with the horse heads come together. But this end piece looks gorgeous too absolutely gorgeous anyway my friends my patrons will show up right here by the sword thank you to them quick little shout out and thank you to my wonderful family member my mom who purchased this partially for my birthday that was a great gift thank you to her and thank you for watching guys and liking and subscribing hope that you have a great wonderful day in middle earth stay happy my friends watch the next episode popping up there if you would because it helps with the algorithms and tells people that people like this lord of the rings channel and you can have a great day in Middle Earth. Baruch Hazar Kuzari menu. And I'll see you in the next episodes of Voice of the Rings. Thanks again to my Patreons. And for you guys for watching. See ya.